We are ditching the bread for this Philly cheesesteak recipe. But to turn this 30 minute casserole into a meal that the whole family is gonna enjoy, you're just gonna need three special ingredients that you'll add at the end. Start with the star of this meal, which is the beef. For this recipe, I'm using ground beef because it's easier to use and more budget friendly, but you can certainly use shaved beef or even just thinly sliced sirloin steak. It's even a good recipe if you have leftover steak and you wanna turn it into something else, just make this Philly cheesesteak casserole. Ground turkey or chicken is a great option if you're looking for more of a high protein, lower fat option. Once your beef is crumbled and almost brown, we're gonna add in some seasoning, a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of onion powder, a half a teaspoon of pepper, and then one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire sauce. I don't know. Next, slice up bell pepper and onion, and I'm gonna use one green bell pepper and one red just to add some color. This recipe is a go-to weeknight meal for me lately because it requires minimal prep and comes together in just 30 minutes. Besides this recipe, I'll incorporate some of Green Chef's meals into my weekly menu just because their pre-made sauces and pre-measured ingredients make cooking dinner so easy. Green Chef is a CCOF certified organic company and is my sponsor for today's video. Green Chef supports your healthy lifestyle with pre-portioned, easy to follow recipes that are delivered right to your door. It saves me a ton of time since the meal planning, the grocery shopping, and a lot of the prep work is taken care of. All of the recipes are easy to follow and they're developed by expert chefs and feature farm fresh fresh, seasonal produce, and organic, sustainably sourced ingredients. They have delicious choices for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and have options for every lifestyle, from keto and paleo, vegan, vegetarian, fast and fit, Mediterranean, even gluten-free. And to accommodate the high-protein bandwagon that a lot of us seem to be jumping on, Green Chef just launched a new collection of recipes fit for those wanting more protein in their diet. Each contain an average of 40 grams of protein per serving and feature recipes like Greek chicken salad or enchilada spice turkey bowls. Give Green Chef a try and use my code KETOFOCUS60 to get 60% off your order plus free shipping. Just go to greenchef.com for more details. Let's add these delicious peppers and onions to our skillet and finish this recipe first, then go to greenchef.com and use my code KETOFOCUS60 to get 60% off your order plus free shipping. Cook these veggies until they're tender. And if you overcrowd your skillet, it's okay. Just put a lid on it and that will help steam your veggies. Once they're tender, it's time for our special ingredients that's gonna make this dish a hit. First, add in four ounces of cream cheese. And it doesn't have to be softened, but it might come together better if you cube it first, unlike I did. Next, you need to decide how many dishes you wanna do or how lazy you are, because after you add your final two ingredients, this dish needs to bake in the oven. So if you're using a skillet that's oven proof, you can just add those last two ingredients and pop it right into the oven. However, if it's not oven proof, or you notice that there's a lot of liquid from all that moisture release from your vegetables down in your skillet, then you're gonna to wanna to drain that off and just put it into an oven proof skillet or a casserole dish. To finish with our special ingredients, top your casserole with sliced provolone cheese and then a sprinkling of shredded Colby Jack cheese. This will go into the oven at 350 degrees for 15 minutes. Once that delicious blend of three cheeses is melted and bubbly, pull it out. I top mine with chopped parsley and a few red pepper flakes. Now, if you need to fill in the rest of your menu for the week with more easy keto dinners, just like this one, well then click right here because I show you how to make chicken fried steak and sheet pan meatloaf in about 30 minutes.